my observation was that there are very similar drivers that compel artists to create and compel scientists to answer questions. They're just really intriguing things that they can't not do. That they they have to do. Yeah. yeah it's a calling. Yeah. <laughs> When you came here, you felt a calling from the creek. Mm. How did, how, what was that experience? Um, well, I, I'd never been a land, I'd never owned land before, and the piece of land that I owned had a creek running through it, and I felt this really powerful responsibility to look after it, and to look after it well. Um, I mean, I could say the, the same for me. You know, they need to look after the land too, but it was really, what is, water is life, water is the lifeblood. And that was the thing that pushed all my buttons and still does. Mm -hmm. Because without it, we, we're all going to have to pack up and go somewhere else. And I don't know where that is. So we're on, would you describe this place as the Darling Downs? Mm -hmm. So. Tell me the significance of the Darling Downs in relation to water as life and healthy environment. Um, so a large part of the Darling Downs, um, when white people first came here, when the first white people came here, um, the floodplain, which is now the Darling Downs, was a huge interminable maze of swamps and lagoons. It was a wetland, hundreds and hundreds of acres of wetlands. And of course, the first white people came and saw all this extraordinary growth and thought, wow, fantastic pasture, pastoral country. And so they moved their herds and flocks in, but they drained it. And when you read the diaries, of, particularly of Alan Cunningham, who was the first white man on the Downs, you can infer that the water cycle operated far more slowly than it does now. The creeks were quite shallow and lots, chains of ponds was the term that he used to describe them and it, they really only flowed when there was rain and then they flowed from one pond to the next. But then white people came here with animals with cloven hooves and these soils had never felt cloven hooves and they were compacted um, eroded quite seriously um, and the creeks became quite incised and deeply channeled and so now when it does rain the water runs off quite quickly and we have raging torrents instead of the, the chain of ponds so they've it's changed quite substantially but we're never going to get it back it, it would, I, I don't know that it would be possible but it would certainly be prohibitively expensive to try and remediate it back to what it was. Mm.